Travis, I heard that the Fed just raised the rate. Does this mean that interest rates are going up to like 7% again, to, uh, to almost 8 I mean, my buyers are worried about this. And, uh, of course, and that, that's if you follow the headlines, that is uh, kind of what's out there, right? So uh, the Fed did, in fact, raise interest rates yesterday. Uh, they raised yeah. 25 basis points, but what they raised was actually called the federal funds rate. Um, that is that is not mortgage rates. Um, okay. The federal funds rate basically is the short-term rate that banks lend to each other at. Um, and that affects short-term, all, all short-term loans. So things like auto loans, credit cards, um, you know, you get maybe a little, a few extra bucks on your deposits or savings accounts. Um, adjustable rate mortgages on the short, like the three and five year adjustables, it will affect those. But your standard 30 year fixed longer term mortgages, there's a, there's little to no correlation between Fed interest rate hikes. Even though there could potentially be further rate hikes, um, they're hinting at things kind of slowing up a little bit as far as economy, that is good for mortgage rates. So actually we saw mortgage rates improve slightly yesterday. That's so. great news. It is, it, it is. Well, so should my people wait till the end of the year when rates decrease even more? Because, you, you know, they're saying that they want the rates to be down to five and a quarter, but I sure. mean, should they wait till December? Um, no, that's the, the short <laughs> answer. Uh, because if we look at it in, in side by side, in all, you know, if you look at it simplistically, would I rather pay where rates are at now or somewhere in the fives or, or lower interest rates? Well, but don't you want a lower rate? I mean, of course, that would be nice, right? But you have to look at the entire, the entire picture and what's going to happen there. So when we look at true total costs, you may save a little because what's going to happen is there's a lot of buyers who are still on the sidelines waiting for rates to really come down. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's going to happen is when that does happen, you're, you're going to have a whole trove of other buyers who are going to come into this market looking to buy. And we're in a point now where inventory is low, yes. um, but it's something where you're not having the amount of nearly the amount of competition with other buyers as you've had in the past or that you will have when that actually interest rates come down. Because once you start seeing those headlines, like mortgage rates, mortgage, there's so many people who still have not purchased a home yet. And you're gonna find yourself, you do wait till that point in time, you're gonna find yourself competing with them, multiple offer situations, kind of, you know, have a snapshot. Thousands of dollars over asking right. price. And do you really wanna be in that situation to have to compete to highest and best? But most people don't. Um, and the great thing is, if you focus on just finding the right house, you can always refinance down the road. If interest rates have to come down, come down, wonderful. You just refinance at a later point in time, you're and you're already you in your home. So it, it makes uh, a ton of sense. Don't keep your eyes peeled. Um, work with an awesome agent like yourself. We'll be out there serving your clients, finding them the right home. Focus on that. The numbers will work themselves out. Thank you. I feel better. Awesome. Thank you.